Hi, I'm Patty Kim from The Green Guide for Houdini. Let's lose some weight. Not a few pounds of body weight, although that's always nice, but hundreds, even thousands of pounds of carbon dioxide. That's the gas that gets emitted when we burn fossil fuels to heat and cool our homes, run our appliances, and our cars, and heat our water. Scientists have figured out that carbon dioxide, or CO2, is a major contributor to global warming, and each of us is contributing to the problem by emitting about 48,000 pounds of CO2 each year just by living our lives the way we do. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how making a few changes can cut your carbon output by a few tons, and the best part is you'll save some money too. So let's get started. The average shower lasts about eight minutes. Now, if you can do it two minutes faster, you can cut about 340 pounds of CO2 emissions every year. Save even more by installing a low flow shower head. This will not only cut your water usage by 20,000 gallons a year, but it will save you up to 16% on the cost of heating your water. Take a look at your lighting. Replacing just one 75-watt incandescent bulb with a 19-watt CFL or compact fluorescent can cut about 50 pounds of carbon emission each year. And you know what's great? Once you put one of these guys in, you probably won't have to change it for another few years. Even what you eat can make a difference. If, like most Americans, you get close to 30% of your calories from meat, dairy, and poultry, your diet contributes over 3,000 pounds of CO2 to the atmosphere each year. Vegetarian diets contribute half of that, but you don't have to stop eating meat. Just reduce your consumption of red meat and you'll cut your carbon output. Make sure your refrigerator's on the carbon diet too. Fridges made before 2001 are a lot less efficient than today's Energy Star models, which cut over 500 pounds of CO2 from your annual total. But all fridges need good maintenance to be energy efficient. And if the seal in your refrigerator door can't hold a dollar, you'll be leaving